Good evening and salam Sarawak ku sayang. This is 8 p.m. news on TV Sarawak. Keep watching. Sarawak government will continue to improve services of the Kenyalang Gold Card KGC scheme, especially to enable senior citizens from rural and remote areas enjoy similar benefits. Welfare Community Wellbeing Women Family in Childhood Development Minister Datuk Suri Fatima Abdullah noted that the KGC scheme, now in its interim period, has limited benefits for the rural elderly population and since then has received many encouraging feedback, suggestions, opinions and ideas. She said the state is looking into ways to enable the rural senior citizens reap the benefits, discounts, rebates, including priority services offered by private and commercial establishments under the scheme. The KGC scheme will be launched by Chief Minister Datuk Patinggi Abang Zuari Tan Abang Jopeng at the Sarawak Women Act Symposium Global Innovative Entrepreneurship at the Borneo Convention Centre Kuching on March 7th. Sarawak's health machinery is fully geared to tackle the threat of COVID-19. Facilities, strategies, logistics, doctors, nurses and other health workers have been put in place to combat any possible transmission. State Disaster Management Committee Chairman Dato Amar Douglas Ugaamba said, Additional thermal scanners at Kuching International Airport, Cebu, Bintulu and Miri Airports and ICQS Sungai Tujo would be made available by the Health Department. He said doctors and personnel, including those from other units and disciplines, were being trained since middle of last month to handle any situation. The indecision by the Ministry of Finance, MOF, on appointing a project implementer has delayed the rebuilding and upgrading of dilapidated, dilapidated schools in Sarawak, although a total 700 million ringgit has already been paid in two tranches for this purpose. Education, Science and Technological Research Minister Datuk Sri Michael Maninjawong said the Ministry of Finance appointed JKR Sarawak as the project implemented through its letter dated August 5, 2019. However, a letter dated September 18, 2019 from JKR Malaysia appointed JKR Sarawak only as assistant project manager. He added work has not started even though it had been over five months since the Sarawak government paid the first tranche of 350 million ringgit out of the 1 billion ringgit contra loan payment to the federal government so that the money can be used for school repairs and upgrades in the state. Since the Rawak government already paid the second tranche of 350 million ringgit to the MOF on February 7th this year, he hoped this matter could be solved as soon as possible so that the projects can finally commence. And that concludes the English news for today. I'm Shira Abamanzo for TV Sarawak. Thank you for watching.